Hello everyone, I'm Jim Lewis, founder of Model Train Technology, and today we're launching and announcing our newest version of our product, the uh, scene controller. This is called an LED lighting controller, slight change of the name, number five. And so we had one, two, and three, we skipped four and upgraded. It took us almost two years in development and uh, it's really great. So uh, a couple of things. Uh, one of the things you'll first notice if you've seen the previous scene controllers is there's a text display. Let's turn it on. And uh, there are two kinds of uh, display. This one has a white background. Uh, this one that's running our uh, animation over here has a blue background. Uh, they function identically. It's just a matter of your personal preference. Uh, no difference in, in functionality. Uh, our bracket is a little bigger because the unit's a little bigger. Uh, we changed the material that we make the case out of. It's now more rugged, uh, less likely to fracture, uh, change, of, use, uh, change of resin. Uh, two uh, important things that uh, we've added to the scene controller. If you're not familiar with it, let me just give you a brief introduction. All the scene controllers have 16 ports. Each port can be individually controlled in terms of brightness and animation. And there are millions of combinations of animations in a single unit. Different ports can be combined to create different kinds of animations. Very simple example would be to combine two ports with flashing, alternate flashing is what it's called. And so you get the railroad crossing flashing, but you have blinking, Mars lighting, flickering for street lamps, uh, lightning, uh, TV simulation. Uh, it's just uh, crazy how much stuff we put in there. And the biggest uh, addition is we've um, changed the way uh, that the microboards work. So the microboard in the past, you could only program it if you had a DCC system. Uh, that's not required anymore. You don't have to have DCC at all for any of what I'm showing you today. And what we've done is we've made it possible for you to program a, any one of the microboards via the main unit. And the way you do that is to plug the board in using this special USB cord. And I'm just going to plug it into the main unit here. And it blinks and it says Micro 5 Loading. And what it does is it loads the configurations from the micro board into the main unit. So the main unit keypad now is functioning as if the, the micro board had a keypad. And you can see it's blink, it's in animation mode. So we can turn off the animation mode and then move through the ports one at a time to configure them just as we would have done on the main unit. And once we uh, change that, we can configure it to anything we want over here. Let's say beacon, and I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to put it into animation mode. And there it goes. There's the beacon style, all right? So once you have it programmed, you turn the power off, disconnect the board, and now there's uh, two pins over here on this board for powering it. Uh, there's a JST version, which has sockets. We'll get back to that. Um, and then there's a solder pad version. So these all run on 12 volts DC. Any 12 volt DC power supply will work. And as soon as the power is added, the animation will come on. Now, you can configure it to delay a few seconds or even a minute before the animation starts. That's completely up to you. Um, so that's the, the basic uh, boards are all available. Um, the main unit's a really good way to go to get started. And then uh, the micro boards are less expensive uh, than the main unit. There's not a case and, and some other in the display and all of that. So if you have many animations you want to put out in the layout, the best approach to do that is to buy one main unit and then buy the smaller board configuration based on, on how you want to set it up. Now, the solder pad version is pretty straightforward. The LED version is straightforward. This one uses a special cable that we provide with this version. Uh, and this is a five pin plug that goes in here. The wire has one ground and four ports. So four ports, uh, four uh, sockets, a ground on each one of them. So these can go out to different parts of your layout or different buildings or lighting, street lighting or whatever you have. And then if you need to remove the unit to program it, just to connect the wires, come back to your desk and plug it in. It works the same way. There's a push button on top. Uh, you can reset the board back to factory defaults. And there are three or four other configuration modes that you can change on the button. The button can work in multi-function mode or it can work in this uh, accessory mode. And the accessory mode 
uh, is useful because then you can turn on and off individual ports. And the way you do that is by connecting the sensor hub. And the sensor hub will work with both, uh, it's the same sensor hub, will work in either the main unit, there's a little plug that only it will fit, so you can't make a mistake on where to plug it in. And there's the sensor hub, and with the sensor hub comes two sets of wires uh, with eight uh, uh, nine wires, a ground, and the eight uh, trigger wires, both here, and then there's a socket at the top. You can plug them both in. There's a little magnet on the bottom, so you can attach that underneath your layout, and uh, there you go. So that's pretty uh, amazing. You can work with, uh, this has a, a plug over here, a small one, for DCC in. So you can't program this one, the main unit, with DCC, but you can use the, the DCC accessory receiver to turn the ports on and off. And you can run both the sensor hub and DCC in parallel. So you can turn it on and off from either, either one of those if you like. Uh, pretty cool. All right, so that's the sensor hub. Um, on our website, under technical at the top of the page, scroll down, there is a documentation section. And the manuals uh, are listed there plus uh, what we've done is we have many different short videos on each of the different aspects of configuring the units, how to reset them, how to set triggers, uh, both for the main unit and for the microboards. Now, a couple of last things in terms of uh, what you might want to buy. Um, for the main unit, it comes with, uh, sorry, it comes just like this with a power supply. It's an 18-volt uh, power supply. Um, you can use anywhere from 12 to 18 volts. If you want, there's an uh, adapter plug. So if you want to run it off a different 12 volt supply, uh, you can go up to two amps uh, on the unit right now, which means you can run LED uh, strips off of the ports. You couldn't do that before. So we beefed up on a port by port basis um, how much power you can uh, output from that. And the same is the tr true on the microboards. They can support up to two amps, which is an enormous amount if you're doing LEDs, 100 LEDs off of, off of one of these boards. Um, what you may want to consider is these LED uh, boards. It just has LEDs on it, and this plugs into the back and to the side, and that allows you to test. Let's turn it on. And that allows you to test Oops, let me see. Oh, there we go. Upside down. So now you can test the, the individual ports and, and configure them on the main unit. When you're done with that, turn the power off, unplug the test board, and then plug in your individual LEDs. Now we make and sell, there's a kit that includes uh, an LED chip with the LED on it. You can have four different LED colors, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, and 6,500. Those all represent Kelvin temperature, so it's really a yellow color, sort of candle color, uh, uh, sort of 3,000 K as a normal light bulb. 5,000 is a little brighter, and 6,500 is, is very blue, very fluorescent. Uh, they use the same plug as the Woodland Scenic, so if you have any Woodland Scenic product, you can use this, and the unit can adjust the brightness of every single port individually. So you can set this up and make it very bright or not bright at all, and just plug it in, and away you go. And you can mix and match. You can mix and match, and these have a smooth surface on the back so you can glue them on, and that's what we've done over here. Um, so the animations are really terrific, uh, blinking, flashing, uh, police lights, almost anything. So we'll have a whole section on animation, uh, video section there. All right, as part of the other things that you can uh, pick up when you buy this unit, if you don't want to use the plug, if you want to just have a wired setup, uh, we have these two terminal blocks. So this plugs into the back as well with screw terminals. So you can just put in regular wires, one for the main, uh, the, the back, and one for the side. Uh, so that's or, those are available. Next, the, uh, if you don't want to plug in this or maybe you have four or five out in a, a remote area, you could use one of these three different kinds of terminal blocks. So let's say that you have four lights out there that you want to white. You get the terminal block with a screw terminal and four JST plugs, and you can buy a set of these uh, uh, unconnected or disconnected plugs. So there's a jumper wire, essentially a plug here, 
and this would plug into the main unit, connect to the terminal block, and then you could connect the LEDs there. That's one way to do it. If you just had wired uh, and no JST plugs for, out in your layout, you use this terminal block, connect the wire in, and then you have four JST plugs. And lastly, you could go with a mixture of these things. You could have this terminal, you could plug this wire in here this way, then run this out to the terminal block, and then and more after that, and then you could plug the LEDs in that way. So a couple, uh, virtually any combination of connecting the wires up with all of the different terminal blocks. So that's the main uh, introduction. Uh, we're really excited. These are all available now. We're shipping. We shipped some to customers last week. Uh, we're shipping more this week and uh, they're all on the way. A couple of uh, things we're going to talk about, the animations here and on the end scale. Just uh, one last thing before we go into the, the next part of the video with more detail. Here's the end scale building I built uh, three years ago, almost four years ago, and I designed it with a microboard behind it. Now I've changed it to, and upgraded it to the new microboard. You can see the USB plug. I just plugged it in and just feed the wires back in and so now we're going to show you the animation on that one. Uh, it's really cool. I, I really like this. So we're going to use our uh, power module and turn it on. And there you go. So now you can see uh, the, the, on the upper right hand is uh, the TV simulation. I have the other lights in random mode. And so after a while, you'll see the lights going on in different rooms. Um, one of the next projects that we'll do a video on is, is uh, unboxing and building a two-foot Belvedere Hotel uh, with all of the windows. There's, uh, there's more than 100 windows, uh, and each, the individual windows will come on and off in random fashion. So we'll show you how to do, build that building where you're going to use the micro boards inside. And out of the bottom are just going to be two wires, and we're going to be able to control um, all of those different micro boards through DCC in that case. Um, or we can just plug it in and power it on and all the lights will come on. So thank you very much and uh, let's take a look at uh, the demonstration over here. Okay, we have this uh, demo row house that we built a couple of years ago. We've replaced the scene controller with the new uh, LED lighting controller number five and all I did was unplug the ports, uh, JST plugs, and put the new one in. And I want to give you a sense, it's pretty simple, but I wanted to give you a sense uh, of how this works and why using the buttons and the configurations is so good. I didn't really pay attention to where I plugged the lights, the, the plugs in, so they were a little bit off. Initially, what I did is I made sure this is one, this is two, this is three, you know, so forth. Um, but I didn't do that this time. And, and that the reason is that I can use the port uh, button to figure out what light it is that just by looking at what's lit and then decide what I want to do with it. So in this case I have a random port one is random there it is and it looks good. I think maybe I want to make it a little brighter so I'm going to push I'm going to scroll to the next one it says 10% lighting. Let's make it uh, 20% and I'm going to just save that and then Let's just go back and, okay, so that's port one. Port two, I want to make that a little bit brighter. I skip to the next one. Let's make that 15 and save that. And by the way, let me, sh uh, one thing I did here is I pushed it back in animation and back into config very uh, quickly. So I'm on port two. This is the first of the uh, menu options is mode behavior. Um, and so I push the white button to get to the next thing, which is the lighting output. And the one after that is co configuration modes for CVs, which you do from the controller. Uh, then there's a trigger mode that's to, to connect up the sensor hub. And then there's a DCC address. And then there's a reset button. And so rather than going through all of these different modes, um, when I'm here at port two and I want to go to port three and I say, oh, I want to make that brighter. Okay, I just go once and make it brighter, save. But rather than going through and getting back to the port behavior, uh, what I can do is just push it into animation mode 
and then back, and I'm still on port 3. So I don't have to go through the whole menu choice. I can just put it into animation mode and come back. That's port 7. So that's the car down here. There's a part of the uh, RGB, uh, red, green, uh, blue, mixed with white for the TV simulation. So two ways to do it. You can have a blue or a red, uh, you know, maybe a bright LED and a, and a soft LED and just have two of them. And what, or you can use the red, green, blue, which takes three ports plus a white. And so that can be uh, how the sim TV simulation would work there. There's a video on just setting up the TV simulation. Uh, let's go to the next one. Here's a, a hallway light down there. Here's the street lamp, and I have that on Flickr. Okay, so uh, just go through. Here's the room down on the bottom, first floor room, second floor room. There's the white background for that. So those are all of the setup, and pretty simple. What I did, well, let's go, let's see, this one, no, this one's lit now. There's just the LED I ran in the back there, and I just put a magnet on the walls, and they just pop in there. So pretty cool. Um, and the, the, the uh, effect of adding animation and, and to a building uh, and doing it so simply like this really adds depth and character to a layout. So we really hope you'll uh, take advantage of that and try that. Um, we're using this, uh, the main unit out here, but you could just as easily have used uh, any one of the micro boards and just put it behind the unit or even inside the building if, if that's what you want. Um, the, the parts are exposed, so you, you want to be careful of static electricity. It's pretty rugged. We do coat the boards uh, with some material and um, they're grounded well. So just be careful. Don't you know, rub your fingers around them and don't rub your feet on the carpet. Um, but in our experience, uh, we've had a uh, very good experience with this, no problems at all with uh, you know, air, uh, static electricity. It happens once in a while, but very rare. Um, so uh, now the same thing as I showed you before, we have the end scale building. Uh, we have all the lights behind. Uh, we made some lights in there, the canopy light, and uh, just really cool. And so that's, that's just uh, made it with some styrene. We used the same chip lights that I showed you a minute ago. There's the board. Um, and this is using the solder pads. It got a little tight in here. I just used some tweezers to solder in the pads um, and just pop it in there. Oh, got the red wire trapped. There we go. And there we go.